video won't be about food, but it will be about a big life change that awaits me in a couple of weeks. Some of you may know that I'm moving to Luxembourg for three months, which is quite a long time. As I didn't know anything about Luxembourg before, I decided to do a little research and find some interesting facts so that I know where I am going to. And actually it turns out that Luxembourg is a pretty interesting city. So I hope you will enjoy this and check out the 10 interesting facts about Luxembourg. The fact number one is more practical than funny one, but actually it's very important. I genuinely thought for about a week or so that I was going to live in Belgium. I know. And then I realized that it's actually a country, it lies between Germany, France and Belgium. I should go back to primary school. I was asked by some of my friends if I was going to Belgium. <laughs> I'm not the only one. France, but hey, it's still not the worst that can happen because I myself come from a small country, Slovakia. Even though geographically Slovakia is the center of Europe, I could ask questions like if my country is part of Russia or if I know what television is or if I know how a toaster works. Luxembourg is the least populated country in the European Union with only 465,000 inhabitants. There is a great chance that there are actually more people waiting at the traffic lights to cross the street in New York than there are people walking around the main square of Luxembourg. 40% of people living in Luxembourg are immigrants people are actually commuting every day to Luxembourg from Germany, France, Belgium so there is a really international atmosphere so there is a great chance that you will meet your neighbor while you're doing your grocery shopping or you will meet that guy who called you fat at primary school awkward or you will bump into both of them at the same time at the same shop Ew. now this one is really important Luxembourg has won five times the Eurovision Song Contest. Does that mean that they are really good at composing awkward songs or...? Luxembourg is the country with the highest GPD in the world. Hey, living among the richest people in the world? Count me in! Luxembourg contributes to the highest sale of alcohol to the European GDP. Oh, they must drink a lot. Luxembourg is also known for its high quality wine, which tend to have flavory and fruity tastes. Sounds like heaven. The education system in Luxembourg is trilingual. You heard right, trilingual. They start with the Luxembourgish at the primary school, then they switch to German and then the lectures at secondary schools are delivered in French. So the business stuff is carried in French while day-to-day -day conversations are carried either in Luxembourgish or in German. When you go to see the movie in the cinema, you have to check first if it's in its original language in French or in German. Every conversation starts with moyenne which is in Luxembourgish and I have no idea if it's pronounced like this. So you start with moyenne and then you go on in the language of your choice. Did you notice any mention of English? No, the guy. I will die there because my French is shit. The motto of the Luxembourg is Mir Weile bleibe wie mir sind, which means we want to remain what we are. And of course there is a historical and political reason behind the motto, but I don't know, it sounds a little bit hipstery to me. Talking about hipsters, is there any Starbucks in Luxembourg? Yes, yes there is, and it was built like eight months ago, so the Saturday rainy nerdy book club's mornings are safe. My Saturdays actually don't look like that, but I hope to start a tradition in Luxembourg, because they have Starbucks and I will be alone and I will have nothing to do. Sunny days in Luxembourg are quite different from the sunny days in Europe. 
A strip of clear blue sky surrounded by heavy rainy clouds is celebrated as a sunny day in Luxembourg. I was warned by my friends uh, that when it comes to the weather, it is really harsh in Luxembourg and it's very cold and not very optimistic, which is exactly what you want to hear when you have to pack all your stuff in one suitcase and you have to pack things for autumn and for winter. Sounds like challenge to me. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this interesting 10 facts about Luxembourg and I hope that you learned something new. Uh, I will probably make videos in Luxembourg if my computer is still capable of editing them, which I highly doubt. Have a wonderful week and if you know anything about Luxembourg that I forgot to mention or I don't even know yet, just let me know in the comments below and see you next time from Luxembourg. Or maybe from packing, I don't know. I don't seriously know what future holds for me. Bye!